discrimination against others is a sign of insecurity within oneself. It betrays an incapacity to obtain seizure of one's being as being innately self-sufficient without the complication of superiority or inferiority to others. The need to discriminate arises from this deep-seated uncertainty about one's intrinsic worth. Such self-imposed insecurity triggers off a defense mechanism that positions others as unequal beings, making this one's entire reality most blatantly in close daily relationships, but also in new encounters. It is manifested through appropriation of unfair advantages to the detriment and deprivation of entitlements in others. Obviously, no matter how long it takes, this engenders resentment, tensions, resistance, often of a violent nature. Once this is acknowledged, the task of inculcating a countering mental disposition becomes much easier, be it within a racist, gender, or class perspective, or indeed in the provenance of religion. That last, the mental conditioning that makes faith, any system of religious belief, an indicative of human status, a righteous mandate for human separatism, even phobia of the other, is perhaps the most understated, yet most lethal, of today's culture of discrimination. It is responsible for some of the most gruesome, yet ongoing conflicts that disfigure our world. It is responsible for the elimination of entire communities, ethnic groups, and even instigates, indeed, structures gender discrimination, including sexual orientation in many nations. We need to embark on an aggressive approach that exposes discrimination on the grounds of religion as nothing more than the very condition of insecurity and uncertainty in one's own belief, just as outlined at the beginning of this brief message.